we, you know, we talked a little bit about resumes. Uh, the, the next step will be cover letters. In 2016, a cover letter is still relevant. Understand that a cover letter is your first interview. If you had 500 words to convince someone to hire you or to invite you in for an in-person interview, what would you say? This needs to be reflected in your cover letter. Obviously, you want to state the reason or the purpose for your writing. You are writing to express your interest in X job at X company. Uh, you believe that your skills and experiences uh, you know, allow you to be a competitive candidate. Then you want to go into uh, more of your case, making your case. And you want to use the skills and experience that you gained in your current and previous experience and attach them to what they're looking for based on the information you find in the job description, based on information you might know about uh, the, visit, put the position through other means, whether it's through employee referrals or someone that might work for the company. You might have an inside lane uh, to gain some information. What's one thing that's missing in a lot of cover letters is why. Why are you applying for this position? Can you connect the dots for me as an employer? Does this position make sense? Because I'm not going to invest in you as an employer if you're uh, only doing it for uh, you know trivia reasons, if you're only doing this to as a stepping stone for your career. Now, if it is, you want to make that very clear. You want to make you want to frame it in a way that hey, this position is aligned with my long-term career goals of X, Y, and Z. If that long-term career goal doesn't match up to what this position is, you're less likely to get the call back for the interview. It's easier for people to help you when they know how they can help you. And you make it very clear in your cover letter how this position can help you reach your long-term goals and also how you can use your background, experience, passion, skills, education to help the organization reach their goals. So it's not only about what's in it for you, but it's also what's in it for them. And of course, be sure to thank them, but use the maximum allowed, uh, allotted space to make your case. All right. If you don't, you risk not saying enough to convince the employer that you are the person for the job.